Have you ever considered how much interest that you pay over time, particularly in the purchase of a home? Well, here I've got some random data. Let's just take a half a million dollar price tag, a 30 year loan and a five and a quarter percent annual interest rate. And in Google Sheets, we've got a cumulative interest payment function built in where we can take that rate. We can take that number of periods. We can take the present value. Then we can take the first period, which is just going to be one and the last period, which will be 30. And this specifies whether the payments are due at the end or at the beginning of the period. We're going to put the end of the period multiplied by negative one. So we get a positive number and check that out. This is all in interest. So we're gonna more than double the actual loan amount in repayments if we hold this all the way to term. So that's paying every month for 30 years, which is what is pretty common here in the States for people to do. Let's just give you some comparison. If we drop this to 20 years, this drops by 200,000 almost dollars, 319,000 in cumulative interest payments over that term. And then if we drop it down to 15, years, it's cut in half. So less than half of the original. It's still over $234,000 in interest, so it's not cheap. But in a 15 year, you're also probably going to have less of a percentage. The interest rate will be better over a shorter period of time. So in reality, you'll probably be under a $200,000 interest fee over those 15 years. Hope you've learned something here about a built in function you may not have known about and home mortgages in the States, if you didn't know about those. Hope you have a great one.